people talk about Diary of a Madman and the Grave Digger record, I produced that record. But I divvied out the credit because it goes through a chain of people, and I'll explain how it happened. And, and no one can dispute this. The sample originally came from Riz's homeboy, RNS. So Riz said, Yo, I got the sample, but my, it's my, you know, my boy has it, but I want to use it, and it worked good for the Grave Diggers. So I was like, Cool, let me take it and let me flip it. And he's like, All right. So I took the loop sample. He said, But we got to give him credit. All right, we'll give him credit. So. RNS gets credit for this record. RZA gets credit because it went through RNS to RZA and me, who I finally put the whole record together, programmed the drums, put all the, the court pieces and stuff in it. But when you look at the credits and everybody goes, yeah, RZA produced it in RNS, but Paul had nothing to do with it. I'm like, <laughs> you know, but they based the production off the sample. And not the actual work. So it's kind of weird. Like the founder of the sample gets more credit than the person who actually put the song together. So, you know, and that's partially my fault because I'm like, I'm going to get everybody credit and everybody, you know, I'm trying to be super duper fair. When in essence, it really should have been produced by Prince Paul, sample provided by this person through the RZA. <laughs> you know? So, and people argue me, Paul, you had nothing to do with that. RZA did that. I see the credits. It's obviously a, a, a Prince Paul production. You could hear how it's done. You know, nobody makes stuff like that, at least during that time, you know. So that bothered me, but I'm glad I get to clear it up today. Mm -hmm.